Oral head and neck cancer is actually the fifth most common cancer worldwide. Um, it is uh, it involves tumors of the upper aerodigestive tract, which is the throat, the mouth, the nasal passages, um, and the uh, voice box itself. A lot of times symptoms, the disease can be silent and there are no symptoms, but there sometimes can be concerning symptoms. Any changes in your voice, any difficulty swallowing, any uh, coughing up of blood, um, pain in the jaw, in the ears, in the mouth, or in the throat that persists for more than two weeks should really be evaluated. Most screenings are done by dentists at uh, six month or 12 month intervals for oral cancer. Um, and any primary care doctor, uh, ear, nose, and throat doctor, head and neck surgeon uh, is capable of doing uh, an exam or a screening if symptoms do develop. Some head and neck cancers are caused by tobacco use and alcohol consumption, so modifying those, uh, making lifestyle changes there can help prevent uh, certain forms of head and neck cancers. We have seen recently a very strong increase in the amount of head and neck cancers related to the human papillomavirus. This is a virus that almost every American has been exposed to. As far as preventing it, there are vaccines that have been developed that will hopefully prevent these cancers in the future. You can have recurrences of this cancer. You can also have second primary cancers. A lot of patients who develop a, a, a first head and neck cancer may develop a second head and neck cancer even years away from their first one. We follow patients very closely after their diagnosis to make sure that the cancers don't come back and to make sure that they don't develop new cancers. Head and neck cancers can be very complicated, often requiring not just one form of treatment such as surgery, but maybe surgery and radiation or even chemotherapy. So it's very important that you have subspecialists in all of those fields that are dedicated to treating head and neck cancer patients in a multidisciplinary fashion, and that's exactly what we have at Miami Cancer Institute.